Alvin Cullum York was born on December 13, 1887, and was one of the most decorated and famous soldiers of World War I. Among his many citations for valor and bravery was the Congressional Medal of Honor. York was born in rural Tennessee in Fentress County in the small community of Tall Mall, Tennessee. He was born in a two-room cabin, the third of 11 children, and his early life was difficult and impoverished. The family farmed, and Alvin's father worked as a blacksmith to earn extra money to help feed his large family. The children received very little education as they were forced to drop out of school early in order to help provide for the family by working the fields, hunting, and fishing. Alvin became a crack shot in his hunting endeavors, a skill that would serve him well as a soldier. William York, Alvin's father, died in November 1911, and Alvin helped his mother raise the younger children. Although he regularly attended church, Alvin spent his younger years drinking, fighting in saloons, and generally leading a wild and undisciplined life. His mother encouraged him toward a more honorable and moral lifestyle. A conversion experience in 1914 caused him to change his ways, and he became more devoted to his Christian beliefs. When war broke out in Europe, he was drafted into the army to serve his country in World War I. He initially claimed conscientious objector status based on his affiliation with his pacifist Christian denomination church, but was eventually convinced by two officers in his unit that being a soldier was not inconsistent with his beliefs. Later in life, he disclaimed being a conscientious objector and seemed proud of his service and accomplishments as a soldier. His service began in Camp Gordon, Georgia, and he was assigned to Company G, 328th Infantry, 82nd Division. Now convinced that God meant for him to fight and would keep him safe, York went about his duties committed to his mission as a soldier. He was shipped out to France, and on October 8, 1918, during the Meuse-Argonne Offensive in France, York's battalion was charged with capturing German machine gun positions near Hill 223 along the Decauville Railroad. When the American attack bogged down, Sergeant Bernard Early, along with newly promoted Corporal Alvin York, and 16 other men were ordered to advance on the German machine gun positions. The small group of Americans overran the headquarters position of a German unit whose members, although superior in numbers, surrendered to the Americans. Sergeant Early was severely wounded in the attack. While holding the prisoners, they were fired upon by German machine guns, which killed six and wounded three others. The carnage left only Alvin, who assumed command, and seven other soldiers. While his fellow soldiers guarded the prisoners, Corporal York worked his way toward the machine gun position, which had shot his comrades, and worked alone to accomplish amazing feats of valor. During his one-man assault, six German soldiers charged him only to be shot and killed by York using his M911 semi-automatic pistol. He reloaded his infill rifle and started picking off the Germans one by one until German Army First Lieutenant Paul Vollmer, seeing his mounting losses, offered in English to surrender the remaining members of his unit. Corporal York accepted the offer of surrender and marched his prisoners back to his unit to join the other previously captured Germans. Alvin and his men marched the large contingent of prisoners back to the American lines 
and reported to Brigadier General Julian Robert Lindsay, who remarked to Alvin, quote, Well, York, I hear you have captured the whole German army, end quote. Alvin replied, quote, No, sir, I got only 132, end quote. Alvin's and his men's actions in silencing the German machine guns were responsible for allowing the 328th Infantry to renew its attack to capture the Decauville Railroad. Shortly after his battle heroics, York was promoted to sergeant and awarded the Distinguished Service Cross. A short time after that, an investigation by his chain of command resulted in the Distinguished Service Cross being upgraded to the Congressional Medal of Honor, which was presented by the Commanding General of the American Armed Forces, General John J. Pershing. Including the numerous foreign medals received by Sergeant York, he received nearly 50 decorations for his valor in combat. Alvin's heroic deeds went largely unnoticed in America until the April 26, 1919 edition of the Saturday Evening Post published an article about him and his exploits. His fame grew exponentially, and upon returning back to America, there were parades and celebrations in New York and Washington, D.C., and an appearance at the House of Representatives, where he received a standing ovation. Sergeant York refused thousands of dollars for appearances, product endorsements, and movie rights for his life story. Instead, he lent his name to various charitable and civic causes. One such offer he refused was $30,000 to appear in vaudeville. That would be approximately $450,000 in today's money. The Nashville Rotary Club organized the purchase and gift of a 400-acre farm in his hometown, which he did accept. He finally did agree to a film about his life and war heroics, and in 1941, that biographical movie came out to critical acclaim and commercial success. It starred Gary Cooper as Sergeant York and was the highest grossing film of 1941. Cooper won the Academy Award for Best Actor for his performance. The film was nominated for 11 Academy Awards, and in addition to winning Cooper's Best Acting Award, it also won for Best Film Editing. In 2008, the movie Sergeant York was selected for preservation in the National Film Registry by the Library of Congress as being culturally, historically, and aesthetically significant. Sergeant Alvin C. York died on September 2, 1964 of a cerebral hemorrhage at the Veterans Hospital in Nashville, Tennessee at age 76 and is buried at the Wolf River Cemetery in Pall Mall. If you enjoyed this video, give a thumbs up, click on the bell for notifications of future videos, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel. As always, thanks for watching.